Hello mm -hmm. friends, let us now learn about the fine, Warburg effect. So if you see what is called as Warburg effect. Warburg effect here the cancer cells, there are some the cancer cells in the body require glucose for their metabolism. So the cancer cells produce large amount of glucose and they will metabolize it to lactic acid okay and this glucose actually even in the presence of oxygen uh, during the even in the presence of oxygen the cancer cells will metabolize the glucose to lactic acid and this is called as Warburg effect this phenomenon is used for development of anti-cancer drugs. So if you see the drug one, that is we can say the drug 2-bromo, sorry, 2-bromopyruvate, this will inhibit the enzyme hexokinase 1. Whereas 2-deoxy-D-glucose, also inhibits this enzyme hexokinase. Dichloroacetate inhibits the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase kinase. Whereas iodoacetate all inhibits the enzyme glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. So on inhibiting the glycolysis, the requirement of glucose uh, for the uh, for the cancer cells is not met so cancer cells do not have energy for replication so they get uh, killed so thank you guys for watching my lectures thank you